I'm fisheries specialist. I'm the one that primarily operates the hatchery. Over the years, we've lost a lot of our natural spawning habitat. So um, we've found that one thing that we can do is we can take northern pike eggs from a few, few adults and harvest the eggs and, and hatch those eggs inside and stock those fry into wetlands in the area and we've been having pretty good success. The first thing of course we do is we go and collect broodstock. Should be good female. We do a couple different ways. We've got traps that we set in ditches. Another way is to go into the lakes after the ice goes off and set trap nets. and collected the adult the other side. pike that way. Once we have the pike harvested out of those bodies of water, we bring them back to the hatchery and we take the milk from the males and we aspirate that. We want to keep the water as much out of it as possible. Keep everything dry so that the, the semen and the eggs don't get water until we want that to happen. Collect about three to four cc's into a vial and then take the eggs from the females and then we use a solution of sodium bicarbonate. By doing that, when you add the semen to the pan, you can get the sperm cells spread throughout the mass of eggs before you activate them with water. You want to make sure that that sperm cell is able to come in contact with one of those eggs. Once you activate that semen, they will only live for about 30 seconds to a minute and a half. Once they're activated, we leave them in the pan for approximately three to five minutes and then they are put into a basket and water hardened overnight. After they're water hardened, they're put on the battery and they are incubated on that in those jars for approximately seven to 14 days. We keep them in the hatchery until they actively start swimming. Once they actively start swimming, they need to find food. So that's when we stock them out into the natural, either natural wetlands or artificial wetlands that we have. I have people come in and tell me that I've been fishing on such and such a lake, say Jefferson Lake, and for some reason the, the pike population is tremendous and we go over there and we can catch fish. That's the satisfying part of this job.